So I've waited a little bit to talk about Clone Wars Season 7. Reason being, I wanted to go back to review it and have time to do that. And after going back to review the season as a whole, it's honestly not a great final season for me. Now, just to be clear, the final four episodes are, for the most part, damn near perfect. I only have two gripes with the final arc. First one being, it could have been better. You could argue this is a nitpick, which it probably is, but I'll give my reasons later on in the video. My second gripe being how Darth Maul lost his fight against Ahsoka. He topples over his ass like a drunk moron again. We've seen him lose fights this way before, and it's kind of lazy to do the same thing again. But still, I enjoyed the final arc, and I still think it's amazing. Which really sucks, because the final season as a whole is pretty mediocre. It's honestly a fucking mixed bag. This season is made up of three arcs. One being some of the best Star Wars content we've ever gotten, one arc being okay at best, and the other being absolute fucking garbage. So the first arc is Bad Batch. It's okay. And I'm fine with receiving okay content, but in a final season, that's kind of unacceptable, and this arc, I would sometimes label it as filler. I guess the reason I'm hesitant to label this arc as just filler is because it does unveil answers about a character we all like, so we as the audience did get something in return, and I would consider this premise to be final season material. Unfortunately, what they do with the premise doesn't make it seem that way. Nothing drastic happens, nothing big really happens, it's just regular Star Wars stuff. Which again is fine, but in a final season, I have a problem with that. And listen, I like Echo. I like the Bad Batch. It's the execution of the premise that's the problem. I could definitely see these characters in the final season. I mean, Echo was the last clone of Domino Squad. Characters we've been following since the beginning of the series. But yeah, again, they do nothing interesting with the premise. Echo gets rescued, and already he's starting to crack jokes and act like his normal self. Right off the bat, we have issues. This guy has been hooked up to wires and some machine in solitude for god knows how long, and he's not the least bit traumatized. There's even a little side plot where the Bad Batch thinks that Echo might be a traitor, and... That doesn't really go anywhere. Nobody really dies, there aren't any issues except for a couple of side bits of Rex and the Bad Batch arguing with each other, which also doesn't really go anywhere. It's just that the stakes aren't high enough for this to be final season material. One of my biggest gripes though is that at no point does Echo mention Fives at all. His dead best friend. There was so much filler in this arc, he could have easily thrown in a scene of Echo reacting to Fives' death. This is the equivalent of cutting out a scene where the Stark children learn about Jon Snow being a Targaryen. Oh wait, that did happen. The Bad Batch arc also had nothing to do with the finale of this season. You could argue this arc shows how much Rex cares for his brothers, but we already knew that, so not really needed. The only loose end that's tied is we now know what happened to Echo. And I guess Admiral Trench's death, but nobody really gave a fuck about him, so... But uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I feel like we needed much more from this arc for it to be considered final season worthy. To be honest, Dave Filoni should have adapted the Son of Dathomir storyline into the first arc of season 7. For one, it involves a character that's in the finale of season 7, it ties up loose ends, and it's just way more interesting and engaging than the Bad Batch arc. Also, it feels like final season material. Well, but people could figure out uh, what happened to Darth Maul if they read the novel. I'm really not a fan of this excuse. It's the same thing that 343 did for Halo 5. If you simply transition from playing Halo 4 to Halo 5, you're not gonna know what the fuck is going on. Why? Because the game requires you to read outside material. That means you're paying more money just to understand what's happening, and yeah, fuck that. I'm sure a lot of people were confused when Maul went from being captured to being the leader of Mandalore again. Yeah, it'd be nice to know what happened during that gap. So, overall, first arc was pretty meh. Holy Jesus! I have some things to say about the second arc. I know everyone else hates this arc too, but I fucking despise it. It's terrible. Like, some of the worst shit ever. I'm not exaggerating, the two sister characters, I don't remember their names at all, I don't really give a shit, are the new Jar Jar and Rose Tico. Nobody likes them. I don't know how Dave thought that these characters would be likable in any way, how it'd be appropriate to put these characters in the final arc and actually make us fucking care about them, but yeah, they suck. They suck big fucking hairy nutsack. I guess two things I like about this arc is that, well, it's about Ahsoka. She's a good character. And the second good quality is that this arc actually connects to the finale, but just barely. So the premise for this arc is that Ahsoka meets these two boogaloos and they're part of the gang world and they're trying to make money by doing criminal shit. Or at least the big sister is. The younger sister doesn't like that, you know? It's not good. And they get caught up in the crime syndicate and a bunch of goofs and gaffs ensue. 
I want to shoot myself. Yeah, the new Rose Tico and Jar Jar are just insufferable. There's not one likable trait about any of them. There's a scene where the two sisters are trying to steal spice. The workers rightfully tell them to go away, and when they don't, she starts asking to speak to their manager. Yes, that happens. As if that haircut wasn't enough to tell you she was a Karen. The two sisters then start attacking everyone, and at this point, I'm starting to root for the workers and the manager. Because look at it from an outside perspective, these guys are just trying to do their job and you have these two dipshits dipshitting everywhere these two come in try to steal their supplies and then when they don't get their way they start attacking everyone so yeah i'm rooting for the manager and the workers so uh, yeah i see the workers and the manager as the good guys in this situation but unfortunately the villains prevail because the elder sister straight up murders the manager and you know these two sisters being as boring and uninteresting as they are i just started thinking about this poor lizard man and his family you know so they're probably starving and homeless because uh uh, this guy's dead and he can't bring in any money for the family so that kind of sucks just like this arc and hear me out it could have been good i as well as most people do not have a problem with an arc being solely focused on ahsoka her just hanging out in the slums would have been 10 times more interesting than this bullshit you know just have ahsoka travel around the slums she can see how the war has affected these people i'm not entirely sure what the story should have been but anything would have been better than what we were given. Because watching these three characters for an entire episode escaping jail just be put back into a cell at the end of the episode pissed me the fuck off. So just to recap, the first arc would be about the main antagonist, the second arc would be about the main protagonist, and then you have the finale where both characters end their journey. No stupid filler bullshit, no obnoxious twats, just two characters we really like coming together with a grand finale. Now of course that didn't happen, but what the finale could have improved on is tying in all three arcs together. Why the hell wasn't the Bad Batch in the final arc? It would have given the first arc more purpose, it would have delivered bigger obstacles, I think that Jesse and the other clones aren't really that big of of a threat and it would have been very impactful to see rex fighting against echo someone he just saved or you can flip it and have him be the good guys you know maybe because of the bad batch you don't really have the chip in their head and echo got his out when he was captured they then sacrificed their lives to save rex and ahsoka you know just have them included in the arc in some way because it's kind of weird to have him being the introduction towards the season and never see him again so Overall, I am very glad I did see the season just because of the final four episodes, but unfortunately the first two arcs are pretty lackluster. But I do believe that this season was worth it just to see the final four episodes because again, it is some of the best Star Wars content we have ever been given. But unfortunately there's a great imbalance of quality in this season because two thirds of it is, again, pretty mediocre.